I've never made any of this before. I'm going to try to make some cotton stalks. You know, that's real popular right now with the farmhouse uh, decor and stuff. So I've been saving that. Like I save this kind of stuff always because inner hoarder won't let me throw them away because gosh, that would, you know, you could use that for something. And here we are. I'm going to use paper towel and toilet paper rolls. I've bought some cotton balls. I've got some different varieties of wire and my hot glue gun, some hot glue sticks, a pair of scissors, and this is floral tape and I'm using brown because that's what color a dead cotton stalk would be. And I'm gonna use some uh, stain and I'm just gonna stain like one side of this cardboard. We'll see, I mean, I'm not, I don't even know if this is gonna come together. I'm gonna film and just hope at the end I've got something that I want to show y'all that's worth showing y'all. I started by putting my stain on a paper towel and rubbing it, rubbing it on the toilet paper and paper towel rolls. I took a dry paper towel and rubbed the excess back off just so that it would dry faster. And this does not have to be exact. You'll take your wires and form a loop on one end. Now you'll take and cut the rolls in half. Then you'll take and cut you know, about one inch strips. This doesn't have to be exact. Just, you know, eyeball it and get them about an inch thick. Next, you're going to point the ends. And I found it easiest to do this starting on one corner and cut to the middle. Flip it around and do the opposite corner to the middle. And that gets you a point. It's just really easy that way. Just from one point to the middle, flip it, and the other point to the middle. And then you'll have all these pointed little leaves. I don't even know what you'd call them. Next, I took a nail and just punched a hole in the middle. I took my wire and then bent the little loop over sideways. I threaded it through one of my little leaves. I'm not sure what to call these things, guys. I'm calling it a leaf. And then I secure that loop. And as you're working with it, you're gonna bend these up, you know, kind of make it look like a, a little bowl. You're gonna glue another one and thread that through. Shaping it kind of as you go. And then I took a third one. I used three on all of mine. You could use however many you want. I'm not even sure how many a, a bowl actually has. But I staggered them out and then formed them all. Like I rolled them upwards and kind of curled the, the edges. And I got all the glue off. <laughs> and then you will end up with something that looks like that. Now you're gonna literally take four cotton balls, glue those to each other, and then turn those over and put some glue on the bottom. And then we're gonna press that into the center of our leaves, bowl, whatever you call it. And then you'll just kind of play with it on a real cotton bowl, the, the four different little compartments are, are distinct. You can tell that it's got four different compartments, four little buds of cotton. I'm not sure what you would call that. And then to finish it off, I took the brown floral tape and I wrapped the stem. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but it just makes it look more real. And then after I got the stems wrapped, I took about five of these and wrapped them all together to form one stalk. You can do, you can leave them separate or you can make them into stalks. And it's just that easy guys. I actually had all these materials on hand so this didn't cost me anything. But when I first looked at cotton stalks, they were like really expensive and I just couldn't see myself paying for cotton stalks. So I decided to make mine. Thanks guys for hanging out here with me. I hope you can use this idea around your house.